so broken up by the news I can't stop dancing. Hello folks, the Robozoid here with yet another video. And boy oh boy have we got a good one for you. Juicy one too. Well, it looks like this is D-Day for, um, for hashtag believe all whammons or hashtag me too. Yep, this is actually the last nail in the hashtag me too's coffin. Yep, <clears throat> and strangely enough, we actually have Alyssa Milano to thank for it. Or as I like to call her, Alyssa Morano. Well, here's just some of what went down. And so this headline here from the Washington Times reads, Rose McGowan rips corrupt DNC fraud, Alyssa Milano, for pound me to silence claims against Biden. The print is too small to read and my throat hurts, so I'm not going to bother reading the article. You don't have to. I mean, you just get the general idea here. And there was much rejoicing. Mm, what a career-ending blow this has to be for you, poor Alyssa Murano. That is so sad for you, Mama. Luckily, though, one another liberal celeb, of course, Rose McGowan, actually did come to see things on the right side. Yes, McGowan got it right, whereas Milano got it totally wrong. So hopefully now this war on men will finally come to an end, and there will be peace at last. Uh, let's hope. Well, you see, the problem was she did she did Who's the Boss back in the 80s, and then, of course, later on, she would do Charmed in the late 90s and early 2000s. But now that she's not the looker she used to be, she's just another one of these has-been celebrities desperate for attention and will say anything, including save the whales and abort the babies. Rose McGowan even called you out on your hypocrisy, Alyssa, because of your blind support for Biden. Yeah, that hashtag me too thing worked out real well for you, didn't it? I remember Rose McGowan back when she was actually cute and in the Scream movies. And her blind hatred of Trump is making her all the more hated by regular folks out there in real America. That's us, by the way. But Alyssa, your blind support for Joe Biden, baby, quite frankly, just makes you look like a massive hypocrite. Way to severely damage your credibility, Alyssa. Or should I say, take a pissa? Yeah, all of a sudden she wants due process for men. Yeah. The same woman who would not give President Trump due process. Or Judge Kavanaugh. Yeah, now you want due process for Joe Biden, just because you support him. Can anybody see the hypocrisy in this? If you can't, if you can't, you are a total retard. Okay, so here it is. Rose McGowan calls Alyssa Morano a fraud over Biden endorsement. <laughs> Why does that not surprise me? So there's Sinead McGowan. There's... Alyssa Morano, and there's Creepy Joe. Yes, Rose McGowan has, has slammed fellow Me Tooer and, and Me Too advocate Alyssa Morano for blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> and you know what these articles always say. Most of them are all shill articles anyway. This one, of course, came from, let me just lower this a bit, from page six. I believe that's the name of the publication that this came from. <clears throat> Again, apologies for my throat being coarse. This is still pretty early in the morning for me. And, uh, yeah, allergy season. I already told you all that. I guess a stopped clock can be right twice a day, right? And that's what I actually like. For once, Rose McGowan is right when it came to ripping Alyssa Murano to shreds over her hypocrisy and her blind endorsement of Joe Biden. Yep, you might want to rethink that. Rethink your endorsement of Creepy Joe, Alyssa. It's rather unfortunate that, well, <laughs> now she looks like a Sinead O'Connor clone. And this article of tweets here really shows how Alyssa Morano dug her hole... Her grave, I mean, not her ass. <laughs> Get that out of your head right now. Dug her grave even deeper by basically posting those comments in Twitter and basically her blind support for Joe Biden. Yeah, nice one, Morano. <laughs> no wonder you can't get a stable, a stable gig anymore. Maybe, Alyssa, you can always go back to being the daughter of the worst over-actor on television. 
but I guess that wouldn't work out very well for you either. After all, Mona's dead, and at this point, Jonathan probably has AIDS. Full blown. Now, wouldn't that be a dark reunion picture? <laughs> yep. Oh, man, how dare I even bring up something so awful like that? How dare I? Isn't that right, Yetta? How dare you? Again, no wonder you can't get a steady gig anymore. So again, Morano, nobody believes what you say when all that jive talking just gets in the way. So there you have it, my friends. <clears throat> the liar, Alyssa Morano, caught. Basically bullshitting her audience, of course. Basically the leader of the ridiculous hashtag me too movement, or pound me too, since there has to be somebody in this fading republic who remembers what that sign really means. Uh, not that pound sign, that's the British pound. That's the pound sign that I was referring to. That's what your supposed hashtag really means. It's a pound sign. No, of course, I don't advocate violence against women, but some of them need to be severely pounded. Someone does need to pound some sense into their heads. Well, this has been the Robozoid saying, rest in pepperonis, hashtag me too, or pound me too, because you've been severely pounded. And that's about all I have to say on that. You know the whole shtick. Listen to the fans. Get the hell out of my house. <clears throat> and I need to take some throat medicine. See you later. Bye. Ready? Hello, folks, the Robozoid here. We have, what do you know? <laughs> Can we start that again? <laughs> so this headline here uh, from the Washington Times says that Rose McGowan rips, cor rips corrupts DNC. <laughs> it's kind of hard to read without laughing.